So guys, let's take a look at the Beatles pinball machine. This is a $20,000 pinball machine. It's a diamond edition. It's number 16 out of 100, and it cost $20,000. And let me explain why it cost $20,000. It cost $20,000 because this version of the Beatles pinball machine has clips from the Ed Sullivan appearance where the Beatles... I guess um, the Beatles were on the Ed Sullivan show and um, they got rights for that. This pinball machine also plays the full version of their song. So if you do not have the diamond edition of the Beatles pinball machine, you get pieces of the song. I don't know how long the, the, the piece is or how long it plays for, but... With a diamond edition, it plays the full song. So you get clips from the Ed Sullivan uh, a TV appearance. You get the full version of the songs that are that come with this machine. And the lighting is different. I guess, I don't know if these are better quality LED lights or whatever. Now, I will tell you something about this machine. This is a $20,000 pinball machine. It had 900 plays, maybe 900 and something plays, and the drop target broke on it, and they had actually had to get the drop target replaced. Now, where I'm playing this is in New Jersey. It's at the Silver Ball Museum in Asbury Park. If you've never been to the Silver Ball Museum in Asbury Park, New Jersey, it's probably one of the best places or... It's it's one of the destination stops in New Jersey, and if you live in New York, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, anywhere on the East Coast, you want to take a trip up here. The place uh, has hundreds of pinball machines, hundreds of pinball machines, and then it has arcade games, and the pinball machines are all in uh, fantastic shape. They're all kept up. They have a uh, a mechanic, you know, a guy that fixes these things seven days a week. The guy, there's one or two guys that are dedicated to going through all these machines all day, every day. And the place is outrageous. And this is where I'm filming that. The machine's on free play. With this place, the Silver Bowl, you pay one price. It's like 15 bucks. It's either 10 or $15 and you get to stay all day. So you can get there at like 5 o'clock. You pay like the $15 and you can stay there until it closes at midnight. So the place is... is pretty spectacular for that anyway back to this beatles pinball machine so this thing has 900 plays on it the drop targets break they had to get a new drop target and it has little differences my thing is for 20 grand there's so much stuff you could do but i wanted to show you this so you see like all these little clips i guess that's the reason why it's so much money now i don't know if the other models, I guess there's like an LE model, you know, whatever. There's an $8,000 version of this machine. And I'm not sure if there's one even less than that. But supposedly those machines don't have these video clips. Or the full video clip. Maybe they do have the video clip. But they don't have the full version of the video clip. Um, when I first started the machine, it had like a whole Ed Sullivan thing going with the announcing. It was a whole deal. And that is one of the reasons why this machine's so expensive. It's a fun machine. It's like a Sea Witch with some things added to it. I mean, it's a lot of fun. I don't know if I would spend 20 grand on it. I can see, you know, to me, these pinball machines that are even six, seven thousand dollars are way too much money. I mean, the most I could see I would pay for a pinball machine would probably be two grand, and that would be maybe something like. Like an Adams family, I, 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 when I hear people spending eight, nine, ten, twelve thousand, now twenty thousand on a machine, I don't know. In, in my head, there's so many other things that I can do. I would start businesses with twenty grand. They have that make money, and I'll buy more machines. So I don't know, but that's me. But anyway, it was a lot of fun. It's a cool machine. Uh, if you guys want to play it, if you want to play a twenty thousand dollar pinball machine, uh, come down here, and you'll get to play it. Um, if you know anything more about this pinball machine, definitely add it to the comments. I don't know everything. I'm, I was just filming it, and I'm reading certain things off the internet. And then when I was in the place, my friend who who runs the place was, was telling me certain things that were going on with this machine. And the machine's been good. It did stand out that when the hit thing hit like 900 plays, the drop target, one of those drop target banks 
went out and they actually had to get a new one. I don't even think they were able to fix it. I think they had to order a new bank. And, and the machine did have a warranty. So they were able to call Stern and say, you know, this machine, you know, it just went out on us after a week. And I think Stern sent them one like right away. But with that being said, I hope all is well. Like, subscribe, comment, share. God bless you. Talk to you guys soon. I don't know. Later, my friends.